Hey guys, welcome to Wagwan Apps, and today we're going to be talking about uh, Google Assistant. So previously, Google Assistant was exclusively for the new Google Pixel phones, the Pixel XL and the Google Pixel, uh, which got released sometime last year. Uh, but and as of February, end of Feb or early March, Google announced that they're going to roll it out to and uh, Android 6, which is Marshmallow uh, phones, and some Android 7, which is Android Nougat phones. Um, and that basically meant the Galaxy S7, HTC 10, which is what this is, um, and, uh, you know, the OnePlus 3, blah, blah, blah. So some of the major, major brands were going to be getting the Google Assistant rolled out. And that was uh, back in February, I think. Um, and, you know, as of today, it's April the 8th or April the 7th as yesterday which is when I realized I still don't have it why don't I still have why don't I have an assistant rolled out to my phone and I've got HTC 10 running on Android 7 okay um, so I'm like I should have it by now I checked the forums people are saying yeah yeah we got it we got it we got it um, but I still had Google now which if I show you on my Nexus 10 now the Nexus 9 sorry the Nexus 9 now this device is not getting um, none of the tablets are, uh, are getting Android Assistant just yet. So if I show you what Google Now looks like, you get this little thing come up. And then, you know, you get these fancy uh, tiles or whatever. But normally what happens is, is on a phone, you'll get the search bar come up at the top like this. And you'll get this little uh, Google icon. So that's what you have when you have Android, when you have Google Now running. Um, but with uh, Assistant, it's a little bit different, and I'll show you what to do. So there's a little trick to help enable it. If you've got it on your phone, but it's not showing it to you, and you can't tell if you've got it on your phone, but you probably have by now, uh, if you've got one of the specified devices that I mentioned, even the LG uh, V120 or whatever the number is. So, um, you know, all the flagship phones from the major manufacturers probably should be getting or should have got Google Assistant by now. So what I did was there's a little trick. So you go to these settings. You go to languages. Hope you guys can read that. Languages. See if we can find it. Language and keyboard. Go to languages. And what I had was just United Kingdom. Which is obviously from the UK. You could probably tell by my accent. So I added un English, United States. So you got add language. This is on HTC 10, by the way. English, blah, blah, blah. Pick the country and set that as my default, okay? Once you've done that, the next thing you do is you go back to settings. You go to your apps. So in this case, um, uh, you go to apps, you let them load up, okay, hopefully, and then you go to the Google app, so find your Google app, find your Google app, blah, 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 come on, come on, come on, tomorrow, tomorrow, Google app, Google app, uh, here it is, Google app, okay, and you can see the version I've got installed, which is uh, for an ARM64, you go to storage, and if you scroll down, you say clear the cache, so you clear the cache, now somehow that obviously something must be stored or held in the cache or in memory to slow the assistant to, to stop the assistant from enabling once I did that when I have a little long press on the home button I get this and it says or you get a welcome screen welcome to the assistant okay please ignore that All right and you notice that and on this phone it it opens up at the bottom and it opens up at the bottom and you can see it's listening to everything I'm saying whereas with Google now the the dialogue and everything open up from the top they slide down from the top whereas on the Google Assistant they open up from the bottom so I hold it again and what happened is I got a welcome screen and it ran me through a few setup things and I was like brilliant it's working finally so I thought I'll just uh, quickly record that tip for you guys so you can see how it works or how to enable it if you should have already got it by now then and it's not working still you need to try what I just showed you add the language um, United States English and then clear the Google app cache the way I showed you from the apps menus from the app setup and uh, you should be good to go anyway I hope you like that video please like and sub and I'll catch you guys in the next one